Hi everyone. In our last video we installed a Zoom app on our Amazon Fire tablet. In this video we'll explore how to use that app to start a video meeting and invite others to join, to join a meeting that someone else has started, and schedule a video meeting for a future time. We'll also discuss some of the settings that you'll want to adjust. So let's get going. If you're watching this video on a device other than your Amazon Fire tablet right now, you can start the tablet by pressing the start button at the top of the tablet. The first window you see once the tablet loads will be a lock screen with an ad in it. Touch the bottom of the screen and swipe up to remove that ad and enter the home window. If you're watching this video from your tablet, which is already on, start in the home window. It contains all the icons representing the applications on your tablet. Drag your finger up and down on the screen until you find the zoom icon, like this. Touch the zoom icon once and you'll open the meet and chat window in the zoom application. At the very bottom of the screen, you'll find three symbols in white on a black background. These are the tablet navigation controls. The circle will always return you to the home screen, so it's hard to get lost. The back arrow will take you back one window, and the square will take you to a list of applications that you have visited since you turned your tablet on. We're going to concentrate on the Zoom application. So one line up from those tablet controls are four Zoom navigation buttons used to move between the windows in the Zoom application. We are in the Meet and Chat window. It's highlighted here at the bottom. Touch the Meetings button to go to the Meetings window for a list of meetings you have scheduled. We haven't scheduled any meetings yet, so there's nothing in that window. Touch the Contacts button to see a list of contacts to call and participate in your meetings. Since this is the first time we've been in this application, you don't have any contacts yet. And touch the Settings button to see settings that you can change in this application. We'll leave all the settings as they are for right now. So touch the Meet and Chat button again on the bottom left to return to the Meet and Chat window. At the top of the Meet and Chat window are four more buttons. Touch the New Meetings button. At the top of the Start a New Meetings window that you just went into, you'll see controls that allow you to start a meeting with your video on or off, and use your personal ID. Let's turn both those controls off now. If they are colored, they're on. If they're not colored, they're off. All you have to do is touch the button to change them. Then touch the big blue Start Meeting button. This opens the Zoom meeting window where all the fun takes place. In the middle of the screen, you'll see either a line drawing of a person or a photo of yourself if you happen to have added it into your uh, profile. At the bottom of this screen are five more buttons. The mute button on the far left turns your microphone on and off when you touch it. The start video button turns your camera on and off. The share button allows you to show photos, documents, and other things that are on your tablet to other participants in a meeting if you wish. The Participants button allows you to invite other people to your meeting. And the More button has added meeting settings that you can change. Click on the Start Video button to turn your camera on and off. There I am. If the buttons at the bottom of the screen disappear, you can make them reappear by touching anywhere on the screen. Try making the buttons appear and disappear, and then try starting and stopping your video by touching the video button. Touch the screen, 
touch the video button. There's a video of you. Touch it again to stop it. And the buttons go off again. Now touch the button labeled participants. Touch the screen, touch participants. Since you haven't invited anyone to your meeting yet, you'll see a white screen with your name at the top and three buttons at the bottom. Click on the invite button in the bottom left of the screen. You'll now see three choices for inviting participants to your meeting. Click on the email choice. A new message window will now open with an email the title of which will be Please Join Zoom Meeting in Progress, and a pre-printed message listing the URL or the web address where your Zoom meeting is taking place. You can enter the email address of anyone you want to invite to the meeting into the To field. If the recipient of the email is currently online and clicks on the address link, they will be transferred to your meeting. If you should happen to get a message like this from someone, just click on the URL and you will be transferred to the sender's Zoom meeting. Since we are just practicing here, we won't send this particular message. Look for the arrow at the top of the screen in the far left corner and touch it. This returns you to the participants page. Now touch the close button at the top far left of the screen and you will return to the main meeting window. If the buttons at the bottom of the screen have disappeared, remember you can make them reappear by touching anywhere on the screen. Often you can't depend on the people you would like to invite to a Zoom meeting to be online and ready to join your meeting. So you may want to schedule a meeting for the future time so that your guests have time to receive an email invitation and be online to join your meeting. So let's end the meeting we are in by touching the screen and touching the word end in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Since you started this meeting, touch the end meeting for all button to return to the start a meeting screen. Then touch the arrow in the upper left hand corner to return to the meet and chat window. Near the top of the meet and chat, chat window, look for the schedule button, three buttons over from the top and touch that. You have now moved to the schedule meeting window where you can choose the parameters for a Zoom meeting in the future to which you would like to invite someone else. Touch each icon to choose either a date, time, whether you want the meeting to repeat, whether you want to use your personal ID, you can set a password if you'd like. That means that the participant to your meeting has to uh, put in the password before they can join the meeting. This is particularly helpful if you're having a meeting with a lot of people. You can turn your camera on or off before the meeting starts. You can turn your participants' cameras on and off before the meeting starts. And there's advanced options. One of them is kind of interesting, enable waiting room. That means if you want to check those people that want to join your meeting before you let them into the meeting, you can enable the waiting room and you'll see a list of people who want to join your meeting and you can either accept them or not. You can automatically record your meeting, which sometimes is helpful, and you can add the meeting to your calendar. When you're done setting the parameters, go up to the top right-hand corner and click the Done button. You're now in the new message window again, and you'll see that the parameters of your meeting have all been listed in an email to be sent out as an invitation to people who you want to join the meeting. All you have to do is type in the email address of someone you'd like to send uh, this invitation to, 
and they can click on the URL link and join your meeting at the appropriate time. I'll just type in one of my email addresses and touch the paper plane icon. And that will put you into the info page. That lists all the parameters of your meeting that you just added. And you'll be able to either start the meeting from this page, add it to your calendar if it's uh, sometime in the future. You can add more invitees. You can delete the meeting. Since this is just for practice, I'm going to delete the meeting and return to the meet and chat window. There are more options that you can include in your meetings to make them more secure or more enjoyable, but you now have the basic information in order to start and join a Zoom meeting and navigate around through the application. So give it a try.